Kia ora, and welcome to the Science of Bell Ringing. I'm here in the beautiful neo-Gothic church, St Matthew in the City, here in Auckland, New Zealand. Today we'll be discussing the physics, chemistry and anthropology of bell ringing. There are two main ways of striking a bell, by moving the clapper into the bell, like you do on a clock, or the bell into the clapper. A simple mechanism is just a lever attached to the crown of a bell and pulled on. But this only allows you to chime the bells and doesn't allow you to ring and control very heavy bells. A more complex mechanism involving a flywheel allows you to ring in a full circle and control the speed of the bells even when the bells are heavier than the ringer. Here at St Matthew in the City, the lightest bell is 312 kilos and the heaviest is over a thousand. The chemistry of the bell is important to getting the bell to ring. Bells are made of bronze, but the kind of bronze you have at home doesn't sound like this. Bell metal has a higher tin content, allowing it to sing and sound bright. But this means that the metal is more brittle and liable to crack, like happened in, with the Big Ben bell in London. Lastly, change ringing is very popular in England. Unlike other English traditions, it made its way to Britain's colonies. But unlike other traditions, like Anglicanism, cricket and beer, change ringing never really took off in New Zealand. Thank you for joining me today and tune in next time to learn more about the science of bell ringing.